the last video, we created two assemblies. We created a um, wheel assembly and we created the body assembly. So now we're going to move on to making the steering assembly and then just putting all this together. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close these. Go to File, New, Assembly, hit OK. It's going to prompt me with another prompt asking me to select the part that's going to be fixed. Um, that's going to be part 5. Just click anywhere, and this part is fixed. Alright, the next part we need to in, uh, add is the go to insert component, and we're going to add the steering wheel, which is part 6. Hit open. Here's the steering wheel. We're going to place it wherever. Alright, what we need to do is add a mate between this surface and this surface. We need to also flip it so that because this is the front of the steering wheel, um, and we are going to add a mate from this surface and to this surface. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to get add, go to mate. We're going to go ahead and start off with this inner circle, so the inside of this part, and then click the outside of this part. Good. Uh, in order to flip it, we can go ahead and flip it by going the flip alignment tool, which is right here. Click on it, and it will flip the seam wheel. Hit check. The last mate we need to add is from this surface to this surface right here. Hit check. Now, I'm going to check again. Now, to check if everything is good, just go ahead and pull the steering wheel and see if anything happens. The only thing you should be able to do is steer it. That's it. Um, that's how you know that everything is fully defined. And that's it. In, in this. Now, let's go ahead and save this. Rebuild it if you need to. Save it in the same folder. Um, call it um, steer. Save. Good. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And we're going to go ahead and put all the cards together. So now, for the final step, go to new, go to assembly, hit OK. Alright, we're going to start off by the body assembly. It's going to open up this prompt again. And we're going to go ahead and put the car body assembly. There, hit open, and just click anywhere just to fix it. Like I said, the first part that goes in is always fixed. All right. Next, we need to put four wheels in here. So we're going to go ahead and insert the component, and we're going to add the wheel assembly. Open. I'm going to put one of them over here. Insert wheel assembly. Open. One of them here. Insert. Assembly, open, and then insert, wheel assembly, open, okay, alright, the last part we need is the steering assembly, so insert the component, steering assembly, open, and just put that somewhere on the side for now, right here, alright, now we have all the parts, they're everywhere right now, the only part that's fixed is this one, but everything else will to, okay? So I like to usually organize them in a way where like it's they're presentable, meaning that they're kind of organized, they're not all over the place. And then this one will go here. Okay, let's go ahead and start on the back wheel. All four wheels are going to follow the same process. So if I go a little fast, just kind of rewind to this part. Alright, these wheels, we're going to start off with these wheels. These wheels are fine. See how the outside is in the outside, but these wheels need to be flipped. See how this, this, these, this is the interior part. So these two wheels need to be flipped. These two wheels are okay. They just need to be mated. So let's go to main. And we're going to start off by selecting the inside of this because the inside of the circle needs to be in the inside of the, this needs to be inside of that. So click on this and then click the inside. Good. That made it that. Hit check. Just to show you, it moves inside and out. So what we will need to make is this wall right here. And this wall. Check. And that should have done it for you. Alright. Now if you move it, see how it only rotates the wheel? Good. So that's what we're looking for for all wheels. I'm still inside the mate. So if you by any chance exit out, just enter the mate. Again, if you make a mistake, Maybe you click on the wrong face, 
and you click on this face, let's say I made a mistake, it's going to mate that face with that. So if you make a mistake, just uh, just go, you can click undo, um, or, um, or just overall just hit the X button. Um, if you need to delete a mate, usually uh, you can just hit the undo button. Don't do it too many times because then it'll undo different things. So, go to me. Make this cylinder. The inside of this cylinder. Check. Next, we need to click on this. On this surface right here. And we want the wheel to touch that. So, put it in right here. Hit check. Just to check. Make sure it's just that rotating good. Now we need to move on to the other side. We're still inside the main. So, we're going to click this. And the inside of this cylinder. Same process as that, but we need to flip it this time. So go to flip, which is here. This flip mate. This one, black arrow with the white arrow. Good. Check. Now, if it's messed up like this, don't worry. You can move it so that you can get the mate from the back. Let's go ahead and click on this surface. And on this surface. Hit check. Again, if you make a mistake, just, just hit the undo button or hit X or just undo. Undo up here or undo right here. Click here and click here, which are both cylinders. To flip this, so let's go ahead and flip it. Go ahead and hit the check button. We need to move this so that we can access the back of the wheel. Click on this surface here and then click on this surface. Check. Good. So all wheels have been mated. Stool. All wheels have been mated. The only thing they'll do is they should only rotate. So all wheels should just rotate, so they should not move rather than rotate. Alright, the last part to finish this whole project off is this. Alright, this, this wall needs to be fixed to this wall. And then the bottom of this needs to be fixed to this surface. And then what else do we need to do? Then it doesn't matter if it's this surface, uh, well, we, can, we need to make this surface with this surface. So this thing needs to rotate so that the steel rolls here. Let's go ahead and do that. Mate, click on this surface, and on this surface, hit check. Next, click on this surface, and on this surface, check. And the last one is from this surface. Now everything is mated, the only, there should be any movement, the steering wheel won't move because you're in, in the assembly mode, um, but if you go into this assembly, you can move the steering wheel. Good. So now let's go ahead and hit the check button. And that's it. This is the car. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it. This is going to be the full uh, Lego car assembly. That's going to be your crate. Hit the save button. Now, now that it's saved, if you guys want to make a cool color or something, and a cool uh, color way or whatever, uh, you guys can color it in by clicking ball, this colorful ball, and then hitting the down on the appearance. You can always drag this down just so you can see more. Um, let's say if I want to make it, you know, let's say I want to make a uh, gold car, I guess. Let's go to metal. On the color gold, and you can assign different gold colors to like the wheel. So let's say I want that to be gold, the part. So it makes all the wheels gold. Let's say I want the tires to be black, plastic. You can always lock this by clicking on the, on the little pin, and now it's locked. Um, let's say I want rubber or plastic or plastic. Um, close that out. Plastic. Oh, rubber's right here. No, um, black man rubber. Put it in the body with a part. Here the body work. So all the bodies change. Um, maybe I want um, another part to be gold. Everything's 
gold and set the tires. And then you can go into into this little drop down menu go to real view graphics. And that'll give you like a shiny kind of gold metallic view. You can also change the environment by clicking here and maybe changing it to a black setting. Or changing it to a maybe changing the courtyard. Okay. I want you guys to take a picture of this if you get this far. I have to take a picture, go to your window, go to a tool called the snippet tool, so you can always tap it in the snippet tool. Once you guys finish what it looks like, click on the new button, and then drag over it, whatever you like. It's going to give you a preview. Save it as Lego car picture. Lego Thank you. Great year.